Do you ever look at your dog or your cat and think to yourself, this pet I have here would be so much better if it was about half the size? If so, you've come to the right video. If not, stop lying because I know you've thought that at some point. These 10 miniature pets are just way cuter than lame regular sized animals. Amazing! Number 10. The African Pygmy Hedgehog If regular hedgehogs aren't cute enough for you, with their snouts and their spines that can't really hurt, try the African Pygmy Hedgehog. These little prickly balls only weigh between half a pound and a pound, and only get up to 8 inches long. While these specs probably make you think that this means that you can buy a ton of them since you'll have plenty of space, please avoid doing this since African Pygmy Hedgehogs are loners by nature, so they need their own space. And despite their tiny size, you'll need a large cage since, like Sonic, they love to run around and explore. Think twice before you get one, though, as the RSPCA claims they aren't suitable as pets unless you're extremely dedicated, because they prefer semi-arid areas of Central Africa. Number 9. Pygmy Marmosets Hailing from the western Amazon basin in South America, the Pygmy Marmoset is an exotic pet that is actually only legal in certain states. So if you find this so cute that you just have to get one, you'll have to read up on your local laws first. The Pygmy Marmoset is the smallest monkey in the entire world, and the only primate that's smaller is Madame Birch's mouse lemur. Pygmy marmosets are what is known as gumnivores, which means that 90% of their diet is the sap that they can get from trees. The other 10% is bugs that they eat for protein. In the wild, they live in small family groups and have a fairly sophisticated method of communication, consisting of different kind of calls. Members of the family can even distinguish each other based on voice alone. Number 8. Pygmy Chameleons If you're more interested in reptiles than you are in mammals, consider the Pygmy Chameleon, also known as the lizards of the genus Rampolian, or stump-tailed lizards, can be as small as one inch long. And just like regular-sized chameleons, they can make their skin mimic the color of their surroundings. Combine that with their tiny size, and you better make sure you keep track of this little thing, or else you may never be able to find it again. Unlike the previously mentioned African pygmy hedgehog, you can have a whole bunch of these little guys in one space, so long as there's only one male. You could bet that lone male would be happy in there, too. Pygmy chameleons are so small, in fact, that it's recommended that you don't touch them unless necessary so they're not exactly the most cuddly pet in the world. They possess the unusual ability to rapidly vibrate in order to intimidate predators. Although, honestly, I can't see many predators being spooked by a one-inch lizard, no matter how hard it's vibrating. Number 7. Baby Doll Sheep These sheep are known more scientifically as Baby Doll South Down Sheep, since they hail originally from the South Downs of Sussex County, England. They were known back then for being hardy, having a very fine fleece, and having tender meat. But now you can have one just to hang out with instead of shaving it for its wool or eating. Baby doll sheep are said to have a very gentle personality, which really makes me see them as being like chill low flying clouds. If you think white clashes with your aesthetic, they also come in black. Even when fully grown, baby doll sheep only stand 18 to 24 inches high, so you're not going to need a big barnyard fence to keep them in. They are often used as so-called organic weeders, since their small size means they won't trample any plants that farmers don't want them to damage. If you're tired of mowing your lawn all the time, a baby doll sheep could keep that under control for you as well. Number 6. Mini Pigs Mini pigs, also known as teacup pigs, cannot be found in the wild anywhere, even if you looked really hard, because they were invented by people to be kept as pets and for medical research purposes. If you want to get technical, there's no actual species of pig that's called the mini pig. This is just a blanket term, along with teacup pig, used to describe breeds such as Juliana pigs, pot-bellied pigs, and the Choctaw hog. These smaller pig breeds range anywhere from 50 pounds to 150 pounds, the latter of which you probably wouldn't really think of as being teacup-sized. The 80s are considered to be the heyday of owning many pigs as pets, and ownership has generally decreased since then. While they can be really cute, it turns out that having a 150-pound pig in your house is less convenient than a dog or a cat. Owning one would also rule previously enjoyable acts out the window, like cooking bacon for breakfast. Number 5. Pygmy Goats Pygmy goats typically weigh between 50 and 80 pounds and stand between 16 and 24 inches tall. So just in case you're not really good at picturing scale, no, you cannot ride this animal unless you are a tiny baby. There are shows for pygmy goats just like there are for dogs, so if you get a particularly pretty one, maybe you could get into that presumably weird subculture. Pygmy goats are quite reliant and can live in most climates. All they need is an open space, a shed to hide out in sometimes, and a companion. Their companion doesn't even necessarily have to be a goat, 
since they get along well with other animals, like dogs. And if you don't think a tiny goat hanging out with a dog isn't cute, then maybe you don't deserve to have either in your backyard. And no, you don't count as a companion, unless you're going to quit your job to hang out with this goat all the time. Number 4. Miniature Horses, Donkeys, and Mules Unless you live way out in the middle of nowhere, you probably just don't have the space for a regular sized horse. And while you can't ride a miniature horse, also called a falabella, they're obviously way more adorable. So adorable, in fact, that they're actually used in animal assistance therapy. They usually don't get taller than 32 inches, or 8 hands, to use the horse-specific terminology that you definitely wouldn't have any sort of mental reference for unless you had grown up on a farm. Proportionally, they're similar to horses, and typically have a sleek coat that looks like it would be really nice for petting. But if you're not into mini horses, maybe you'd be more interested in mini donkeys or mini mules, which also exist. Miniature donkeys are said to be very affectionate pets, as well as being quite intelligent compared to other farm animals. And if mini horses and mini donkeys don't quite suit your fancy, then maybe you'd be into a mini mule, which is the offspring of a male mini donkey and a female mini horse. Number 3. Miniature Cats Just when you thought cats couldn't possibly get any cuter and more beloved by the users of the internet, it turns out that there are miniature cats, and not just miniature cats, but dwarf cats and teacup cats as well which vary in some ways, but what they all have in common is that they're tiny even when full-grown. The founding breed of dwarf cats is called the Munchkin, and other breeds have some pretty great names as well, such as Bambino, Napoleon, Dwelf, and Skookum, which definitely sounds like some sort of cuddling-related term. Dwarf cats have abnormally short legs, while teacup cats are proportioned the same as regular cats. Number 2. African Dwarf Frogs If you're tired of all these land pets, Maybe you should consider the aquatic African dwarf frog, which lives its entire life underwater. However, they need to come up for air because they do have lungs, not gills. They only grow to be 3 inches long and weigh only a few grams. They don't have tongues or teeth, so you never have to worry about them biting you. Well, it could bite you, but it would probably just tickle a little bit. What they do have is claws on their feet that they use to tear up large pieces of food. They also don't have ears, so they hear by sensing vibrations in the water. This means that as long as you're not also underwater, you can talk about secret information around it without having to worry about it passing it off to your worst enemies. They are popular as pets because they require little maintenance compared to other amphibians. If this has got you intrigued about tiny frogs, then check out this thing. It's called the Pedofin amioensis and is the tiniest frog and smallest vertebrae in the world with an average size of 7.7 millimeters. The frog species was discovered in August 2009 by scientists exploring Papua New Guinea. They're so rare that you won't find them commonly being kept as pets, but their minuscule size is simply incredible. If you made it this far, I'm going to bet you enjoyed this video, so why not subscribe? We upload amazing, fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 1. Miniature Dogs not wanting to be left out, man's best friend also comes in fun-sized. If you don't want to have some weird pet like a marmoset, but you still want something that's comically tiny, you've got options such as the Affen Pincher, which can weigh less than 3 kilos. As you might have guessed from the name, this breed is German and was used in the 17th century as tiny exterminators that could get rats out of kitchens and stables. Or, if you want something a little more mainstream, you could get a Chihuahua which, based on ancient paintings found in Mexico, may actually be 2,300 years old. If you're looking for a dog that's on the smarter side, you may want to get Toy Fox Terrier. They're certainly toy size, but not an intellect, as they respond to a high number of words and used to be commonly used by clowns in the circus. In case you were curious, the smallest dog in the entire world right now is Millie the Chihuahua. She lives in Puerto Rico with her owner, Vanessa Semler and is only 3.8 inches tall. After watching this video, it's totally understandable if you want to immediately go and buy a miniature animal. Don't let me stop you from doing that, but do be prepared. For instance, ask yourself practical questions like, will a miniature horse really enjoy living in my one-bedroom apartment? Anyways, if you could own any miniature pet from this video, which one would you choose? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.